implantation genetic screening is a wonderful technique for some couples who are experiencing multiple failed IVF attempts. Uh, one of the questions that I got asked recently is, you know, is this something that is a good idea if you're going through IVF or is just some extra thing that they're trying to sell patients, you know? The reality is that if you have been experiencing multiple failed attempts through IVF or you have a medical history or a genetic mutation that you need to screen for, like cystic fibrosis, for example, you know, it's um, because you have a family history and you know that there's a genetic uh, legacy there, definitely is a good idea to have your PGS in place and to have that screening done. Because then at least you know whether the embryos that you are going to be creating and potentially uh, transferring back are of a, a, you know, a healthy. And if they're not, then you know that you're not going to go through a pregnancy or the beginning of a pregnancy for no reason. And also, if you know that your embryos are not normal, you can then make a decision as to what to do next. You know, I had a, a woman once who came to me, she was 46, she was adamant that she wanted to have a baby and uh, with her own eggs to begin with. And, uh, and she was still responding really well. Her hormones were great and there was no reasons for us to think that she wouldn't be able to conceive. In fact, she had incredible success after doing our program uh, with the response that she was getting through IVF. However, what it turned out to be is that once we did, uh, and we did some, some extra cycles to have some embryo banking because she wanted to have ideally more than one child, uh, we ended up with about eight embryos and all of them got PGS tested and all of them were genetically abnormal. And this woman had previously had a Down syndrome pregnancy that got terminated at 12 weeks. So she didn't want to go through that heartache again, but she also wanted to know that the embryos that potentially she would be transferring back were healthy and normal. Um, in the end, it enabled the PGS process, enabled us to be able to make a decision as to where to go next. You know, and in her case, she decided, well, you know, we've done all of this to get embry eight embryos, and obviously we got good, and they were good quality embryos, morphologically speaking, they were A grade, and everything was great with the, with the embryos themselves. It's just that they were genetically abnormal. So once we understood that, the decision then became, well, why do more IVF cycles and get more embryos that potentially are gonna look great, but not actually be genetically normal, rather than taking the next step which in her case is what we ended up doing, which was doing a donor egg cycle. And now she's got beautiful twins. And so, you know, sometimes it's what helps us to make a good decision, clinically speaking, of what it is that needs to happen for a couple in a couple situation. So sometimes PGS is definitely the way to go. And in fact, you know, it, might, it may very well be the way to go if you have been experiencing challenges. And of course, if you are having difficulties or if you've had multiple failed IVF attempts, then looking at what else could be getting in the way is really important. Because you know, I've had a patient once who had had 19 failed IVF attempts. And in her case, it wasn't a matter of doing PGS, it was actually a matter of addressing all of the things that were getting in the way for them as a couple. And once we did that, they not only conceived, they conceived naturally and they now have a beautiful baby. So there are many different things that can be done and things that you need to look at in order to optimize your chances. PGS may very well be one of them, however, it's not the only thing. And I would highly recommend if you're going through IVF or if you're trying to conceive and you've had multiple failed attempts, that you look into doing the 14-day fertility challenge because that's really going to help to give you the guidance and the understanding that you need of the things that you can do to optimize your chances of having a healthy baby. So I hope that helps and until next time, bye for now.